Hi, I'm Buck Paulson. I've been doing these shows for 29 years. Never repeated a painting, never repeated wearing the same shirt. But today, 26 years later, I'm doing Jug and Oranges again. I did it with Bill Alexander back then, 1992. But now we're going to make the next step. So let me tell you about it. I have a few other things I want to tell you about Jug and Oranges as well. This is the project for today, but it's not the finished product. I don't have a finished product. We're going to work on top of it, and you'll see next week how we have enhanced it. Over to the right, I have a canvas with a tracing on it. It's a pink background, naphtha red and white. And then you can see on it, I've made lines which are very helpful. To some people, it might look like a pumpkin, but we'll make it look like a jug. And that's to have the values there. So we'll start with taking color. This is uh, umber and raw sienna. I'll call that number four. I like starting on the dark. If you're doing watercolor, you work from the lights to the dark. But in oil painting, you don't have to, but I'll work from the dark to the lights. And as I do this, you're going to find in some places, I let a little of the pink show through, and that gives a nice quality evenness. You know, just thinning out slightly here and there. You'll see more as we go on. Now, the first time I taught this, actually the first painting I ever did had, a, had this jug in it. But uh, let me go down to number three. This uh, first one was umber, burn umber and raw sienna. The next one is more raw sienna than umber. This is my number three. And so then I, uh, for the recreation department, I was a recreation supervisor for eight years. And that's when I first started getting interested in art. So the superintendent says, would you like to teach a class during the summer? And of course, in teaching the class, I couldn't be paid for it because I was already on salary. So what I did, I advertised I had 10 weeks of art classes, $2. How much is that? 10, that's 20 cents a lesson. So I took that and put it back into supplies and gave to them. Can you imagine how many people I had signed up at those prices? 50. 50. So what did I do? I made 50 jug and oranges. Here I am, raw sienna and white with just a little umber in it. This is a number two. And I would have 25 in each class. So I'd go around, I'd sit down and do part of the jug on uh, one, five people sitting together for one of them, and then go to the next table and do the next one. Then when I came back, I'd demonstrate on a different person uh, jug and oranges at that table. Oh, it was great. And then at the end, the adult ed didn't want competition. They'd been off in the summer and they said, no, we don't want him to teach anymore. Because we're both working for the city. So there was one gal in the class that said, I'm going to take lessons from Buck Paulson this fall. I don't care what. So she set up lessons. And it's funny how it just then developed. Now I'm going to take number one. This is raw sienna and white. You put this on very carefully, but you're going to enjoy the method of, of blending it. It's funny how uh, this almost looks a little green against the pink, doesn't it? Mm. So I've had quite a few travels with my art. You kind of, I was, had a small studio and thinking, well, where is this going to go? I'd take paintings down to LA, try to sell them. Oh, it was slow. Then somebody came in and said, would you come down and do a demonstration for us in a workshop, three-day workshop? I said, fine. So I went down and did it. We had agreed on a certain amount of money. When I finished, it was twice that. And I thought, what's the deal? She said, well, ever, uh, that's the number of students you had. 
I thought that was great. Now I'm going to talk less and paint a little bit here. No, I don't talk less. But I'm going to, I'm going to put on the oranges.